This is how to remove a factory grill uh, from a 2007 to 2013 Yukon. Uh, the biggest problem I have is these eight clips that go around. Um, you can see this is the new grill. Um, if you already have a grill you're getting ready to put in, it's, it's nice to be able to look and find out where those clips are because you're not going to be able to see them um, down in the grill. So the first thing you're going to do is take off four bolts on each side and then there's the two smaller ones down there so don't forget to take those out either and once you get to this step um, the next part is to undo the clips so the first thing you want to do is kind of pull back on the top part of this plastic to kind of get those nubs out it'll give you a little bit more room to get your arm down so the first one you want to go for is over here on the side um, that's how I had to put my arm in uh, to get down to the first clip. So what you're going to do is just take a really small screwdriver in hand when you're reaching behind the grill. Find the clip with your finger and then you're going to find the back part of the tab right there and that's where you're going to push. And the t hopefully that clip will just kind of pop out. You kind of have to pull the bumper plastic up against the grill when you really have when you're really pushing on that tab and it'll cause it to pop right out. And once you get that first one out, it'll give you a little bit more room then to do the second one underneath. Um, as you can see how much more room I have now from just doing the first one. This is the second clip undone. Uh, once you have those two done, you're able to reach your arm easier uh, down to the bottom clips. There's four clips on the bottom that you're going to have to undo next. So removing the bottom four is actually easier. Um, there's the rivet there and that clip is to the right on that ridge. Um, you'll just have to find it with your fingers first and then just take that small screwdriver and pop it off. But be careful because they, the ones on the bottom actually don't come out all the way until you get all four of them off. So don't lean up against the grill, otherwise you'll pop them back in. Um, I had one pop back in that I had to go back and do. But this is with the grill removed. The two on the right side were just like the ones, um, like the first two you did. But they're still not easy to get to, so just have patience with it. Um, you can see all uh, eight clips where they uh, were in and all the screw holes and don't forget about the two smaller ones on the bottom just make sure your clips are aligned back up before you clip uh, the new grill back in it's relatively simple um, if you've made it this far you'll be able to figure out how to put the new one in it just clips in and it puts your screws in and this is kind of the final product and it sure beats taking the bumper and the headlights off like the manual says to do so just have patience